Hello and welcome to PR Say. That is the podcast for the Houston chapter of the Public Relations Society of America. We have our very own podcast with the intent of connecting our members. We know that we love to get together, network. It's a huge part of growing our business, but some of us don't get the opportunity to connect as much as we want to in person. So we've created a podcast for the Houston chapter of PRSA where we're going to be bringing you guests and introduce you to members so that you can connect and build some authentic relationships. A little bit of housekeeping. I'm your host, Veronica Sofer, and uh, with Veronica V. Sofer Public Relations. Proud to sponsor this podcast and be your host. If you are listening on a podcast, make sure you hit subscribe. We don't want you to miss any episodes. And if you are catching us on the video, on any of our social media platforms, make sure you connect so that we know that you're watching and we can go back and say thank you. I will go ahead and bring up our guest. We have today Juan Alanis. He is the founder and chief content officer of Market Street Consultants. And we're very excited to have him here. Juan, tell us a little bit about yourself. Thank you so much for having me, first of all, Sophia. I think this is a great undertaking. I'm glad that you're doing this for PRSA, and I'm excited to be here. Uh, so to give you a little bit of background about myself, I'm a former print journalist, so I started my career as a reporter. I worked for the Houston Chronicle as well as for some Spanish language publications. And uh, I made the transition, you know, almost two decades ago now <laughs> to public relations. And, uh, you know, I was a spokesman for a couple of uh, different places, including the airports in Houston and the Salvation Army uh, entering the nonprofit world. And then I ventured into the agency side and I worked for Lopez Negrete Communication, for Fleischmann Hillard, um, and really got sunk my teeth in, uh, I, I would say, in the industry, uh, working sure. for an agency and, and really really around the time when digital was emerging. So uh, really was able to tap into that. And, and in that time, I also started a, a blog, a little blog that was just a creative outlet for me and that ended up turning into a, a business as well for me, um, where I started networking uh, nationally and attending a lot of Latino events and non-Latino events um, for the digital uh, marketing aspect of what I was doing. And in 2016, I started my first company, which was called Big Oak Tree Media. Uh, with a partner and you know that I'm still a partner with that business but in 2020 during the pandemic when everybody was finding that we needed a pivot and we needed to kind of uh, do something a little bit different because we were living through unprecedented times I started Market Street Consultants as a way to help businesses and nonprofits and really anybody who we were working with um, to do things more creatively to think outside the box a bit when we when it comes to things like public relations and communications, even a little bit of marketing. Um, and so I've been doing that ever since. Uh, so in a nutshell, that's that's me. I love it. That's fantastic. And so many of us use the pandemic as an opportunity to pivot. So good job uh, for doing that one. Tell us a little bit about how you got involved in PRSA. So I first became involved a couple years back and I actually served on the board for one term. Um, Isidro Reina uh, was the president when I served and, and I happened to just meet him. I was doing an influencer fam uh, or uh, an experience with some influencers out of LA for Visit Houston. Um, and we happened to visit NASA and I met Isidro and in our first conversation, he started telling me, you know, PRSA Houston is here. I'm going to be the president next year. And he said, I'm looking for more diverse board members. And I said, I'm all in. Let me let me know how I can help. And, you know, after that, it was history. You know, we, we uh, you know, that year that I those couple of years that I served on the board, I think there was a lot of momentum. And I think that's continued with the current boards that have served uh, after that. Um, so I think, you know, I find it as a great resource um, as a communicator, uh, whether you're a student or whether you're a professional. It just provides a, a wealth of access to other people that are in the industry um, and a lot of resources as well. Yeah, absolutely. Agreed for sure. So when you are at network, networking events or you do get an opportunity to talk to younger members, what's some advice that you give them when they come to our chapter functions? You know, I think the, the biggest advice that I can give people is, you know, network. You know, it's yeah. really about building relationships. And I think that's what our industry in reality is all about. I mean, we build relationships, whether it's with journalists or whether it's with digital influencers, whether it's with our clients um, or, you know, with our staff. You know, I think it's all about relationship building. And I think when you're starting out, it's important to seek out people that um, I think that can help you kind of figure out where in the PR space you want to be, because there's so, it's such a broad 
industry that has so many different facets. And so I think, you know, really gaining experience. I think I always remember that when I was in school, uh, you know, Minerva Perez, who was at ABC 13, right. um, came to our class one year and she was just, uh, it was a presentation that they were making, but she came into class. And what I remember most about her speaking to me, to us then was she said, if you, if you've been in, uh, if you've been in college for four years and you're about to graduate and you haven't done any internships, you basically thrown four years of your life away. And uh, I was paying for my own school, so I said <laughs> I can't afford to, I can't afford to throw four years of my life away. So I, I immediately, you know, started looking for internships, and I was very fortunate to get an internship with Univision. I also worked with the City of Houston Planning Department, and really got to experience things that I hadn't done before. Um, there's a difference between learning in the classroom right. and learning in the real world. So yeah. I would say internships are key, um, and I I wouldn't shy away from starting out, even if even if um, it's a non-paid internship, I say, if you're going to gain the experience, um, I would I would definitely consider if that's something that you can afford to do. But yeah. I like to pay my interns because I feel like, you know, it's only right. Um, but I do understand that in some situations you, 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 you do work where, you know, there's not a budget to pay interns, but you gain so much out of the experience. And so what I always tell young people is look for those opportunities, whether they're paid or not, where you can get your feet wet, where you can sink your teeth in. And you can just show how eager and uh, energetic you are. And then don't be afraid to roll your sleeves up. Because yeah. um, usually when you're starting out at the, at the beginning, you're going to be doing the grunt work. Yeah. Um, and, you know, you can't expect to show up and, and be like, okay, this is what I want to do. Just only these things. <laughs> because in reality, <laughs> you know, that's probably not not what you're going to end up doing. You're going to have to, you know, like, as they say, you know, the term pay your dues, right, <laughs> to get there. Absolutely. I mean, many of us are still moving folding tables and setting up chairs and rearranging Absolutely. napkins. I mean, you do what you got to do for your events and, and for your projects and programs. So I'm with you. Yeah, there's a lot of uh, <laughs> there's a lot of behind the scenes, uh, you know, uh, blood, sweat and tears that you put into the PR side. And, and I think a lot of times, you know, when we're thinking about PR and we think about shows like um, Scandal and Olivia Pope and, you know, we feel like it's such a glamorous, you know, uh, mystique about it and there are some parts that are that are fun and maybe a little glamorous but you know for the most part there's a lot of work that also happens behind the scenes that you're right it's like the you know folding tables it's you know <laughs> making sure that people are, are there at a certain time it's coaching people it's you know just doing all the crazy things that happen behind the scenes imagine I was I would like to liken it to like when you produce a tv show or you produce a podcast there's so many crazy things happening behind this behind the scenes. Sure. That when the camera turns live and it's recording, people don't know about, it. and it's right. okay. You know, they don't need to know about it. But you know, there, there's that's a big part of making of being successful in this industry is taking care of the back end. Yeah, absolutely. Well, before we wrap up, tell us a little bit about some projects you're passionate about, some things you're working on with Market Street Consultants, um, so that people get a better sense of what you're doing. Yeah. So one of the things that we're we're really focusing on uh, this year is helping businesses now that we're kind of so we're still in the pandemic, but we're a little bit more familiar with kind of being in a pandemic is helping people to navigate and figure to figure out how they really want to communicate, whether that's internally, whether that's through to their donors, whether that's to, you know, external audiences, how to really connect with them in authentic ways and how to really own and drive the narrative internally because i think that's one thing that we learned in 2020 and moving forward is that there's a lot of potential to for us to own the narrative as yeah. as businesses as brands um, with platforms like this with things like we're doing like we're doing right now through Streamyard, um you know live streaming on on social media we do we do a lot of that um we also help people create podcast content so you know we help them launch their podcast or you know support their podcast when they're looking to start out because there's a lot of space and there's a lot of in interest out there for, you know, creative content. And then, you know, it, it's not always about the numbers, I would say. It's more about how authentically uh, and successfully you're able to engage with your audience. So whether it's an audience of 10 or an audience of a million, you know, yeah. you, the, what matters is that you're able to relay your message su successfully. So we're spending a lot of time with, with businesses and clients that we're working with right now, defining, like, what are the priorities? Um, who is the right target audience for you? And then based on that, what does success look, look like? And in some cases, it's more traditional, the media outreach, the news releases and media alerts and things like that. Other cases, it's th you know creating things like digital newsletters or you know social media content calendars 
or even thinking about something like this that's a little bit more innovative, like a pod podcast platform or a live stream content. It really is just working with folks to define and empowering them to drive the narrative and you know to to drive the bottom line at the end of the day because that's that's part of what we're doing, but doing it in a creative way where that's yeah. not always the focus. I mean, we're not we're not really in sales, so we're not like sell sell sell. Right, right. But there's an element of that in everything that we're doing because we understand that we're building a brand voice. We understand that we're building a brand overall, and so our work plays into that. And so that's what we're doing, and that's what we're excited about this year. And you know, we're hoping to continue growing. You know, not only in the Houston area. But we're also looking to, to expand beyond that as well. That's fantastic. All right, everybody. If you want to connect with Juan, it's MarketStreetConsultants.com. Juan Alanis, Alanis is the founder and chief content officer. officer. <laughs> I wrote down officer. I wanted it's to a... say creator, but it's <laughs> thank you, Juan. It's, it's a... been wonderful having you on the podcast. Yeah, it's been a pleasure. Thank you so much. I was just going to say it's one of those one of those things, one of those titles that I was just like, you know what, that sounds like I, that, that, even though it sounds a little funny, that defines what, what I do, because my my whole That's my right. whole career has been creating content. And so uh, I like to help. I like to help businesses figure out the best way to create the content that's going to connect the be in the most engaging way with their audiences. That's fantastic. I love it. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us, Juan. And hopefully we'll see you at some events. Thank you. All right, everybody, that is our episode of PR Say. I'm your host, Veronica Sofer with Veronica V. Sofer Public Relations. And I am thrilled to be able to bring these opportunities to you so that you can be connecting with other members of our PRSA Houston chapter. So with that, we will sign off and we'll see you next time. Make sure you hit subscribe on the podcast because we don't want you to miss any episodes.